Well, three bodies and the search for a missing infant in Franklin County. The case captivated the Metro last spring. Today, many of the lingering questions about it are being answered at a preliminary hearing for Kyle Flack. Garrett Haight covered that case for us then and now joins us live from Ottawa with the latest. Well, Jody, on today's hearing amounted to a day-long probable cause statement as to why prosecutors believe Kyle Flack murdered four people here last spring. Today, a number of new details about the case came out. Some of them are disturbing. Kyle Flack spoke to detectives for six hours on the night of his arrest last May. And according to testimony today, he admitted to at least one killing. I shot him. He dies, is what Detective Jeremy Thompson testified Flack told him about housemate Stephen White. Flack told Thompson he killed White with a shotgun after another housemate, Andrew Stout, shot him first, all stemming from an argument about rent. Later, investigators described searching this house and garage and recovering three bodies, White in the garage and Stout and 22-year-old Kaylee Bailey in the master bedroom, hidden under piles of clothes. Prosecutors didn't spell out a murder weapon, but said five spent shotgun shells littered the bedroom, and a shotgun was found in an Emporia dump the same day Flack was arrested there. One piece of evidence linking Flack to those murders, his duffel bag, recovered after his arrest. Inside were black zip ties, similar to one used to bind Kaylee's wrists behind her back. The last body was recovered after Flack's arrest. Kaylee's 18-month-old daughter, Lana, was found in this creek near the Osage County line. Flack sat impassive during most of the hearing, occasionally talking to his lawyers or wrinkling his brow. Behind him, his mother and family members of the victims watched in silence. Now, prosecutors called fully 30 witnesses today in just about seven hours of testimony. They have several more to go tomorrow morning. Reporting live in Ottawa, Garrett Hake, 41 Action News.